Hi everyone, so here we are going to start with third unit of chapter 2 physical quantities and measurement and the third unit is temperature and its measurement. So in this unit we are going to see how we are going to measure temperature. So first we should understand what is mean by temperature. So temperature is a measure of degree of hotness or coldness of a body. So means that sometimes you might be seeing the temperature of ice when you will you feel it is cold when you will see the temperature of boiling water what do you feel you feel it is hot so this means that temperature is a measure of degree of hotness and coldness of an object then what is the SI unit of temperature means how do we measure temperature so we measure temperature with many quantities like Celsius Fahrenheit and Kelvin but the standard unit of measurement of temperature is Kelvin only. Please remember this. This is new for you, class six student. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. So next, how we are going to measure temperature? So we measure temperature with the help of device named as thermometer. So with the help of thermometer, we measure temperature. So here. A diagram of thermometer is given like this it is given in a book it is given like this this is a diagram given and here we have two different kinds of thermometer one is called as laboratory thermometer and next we are going to study about clinical thermometer so this is your laboratory thermometer this is a laboratory thermometer this is a laboratory thermometer it consists of a glass this is a glass tube and it is called this is outer glass tube which is called as a stem and inside this you are observing there is a thin tube like thing this is very thin tube which is called as capillary tube and then this part of the thermometer this part of the thermometer is called as bulb so what we say that at the end of capillary tube is provided with very thin glass which is called as glass bulb and this bulb is filled with pure mercury so under this bulb there is a concentration of mercury and this bulb you might have seen that at your home also that this bulb is shiny in color it is a metallic device so why it is shiny and metallic device that when we are going to measure the temperature then what is going to happen this part of the thermometer will become hot and when this part of the thermometer is going to become hot what is going to happen the mercury which is filled inside it is going to start rising so rising of the thermomercury is being shown with the help of this red line suppose inside this stem this is the inside stem there is a capillary tube so inside this capillary tube this mercury is going to rise like this so this is how thermometer works this means that thermometer wo works on a principle of thermal expansion so when we are going to measure any hot object what is going to happen it is going to expand and when it is going to expand in this capillary tube this mercury is going to range where rise and wherever it is going to stop suppose in this diagram it has stopped just nearly at 30 degrees celsius so temperature will be 30 degrees celsius so this is your laboratory thermometer description of laboratory thermometer then come about the next topic is thermometric scale so thermometric scale as given in a book is of two type one is celsius scale and the other one is kelvin scale in a case of celsius scale we measure the temperature from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius so 0 degree will be called as lowest point and 100 degree celsius will be called as highest point in a case of kelvin scale so this name kelvin is given with the by the name of scientist lord kelvin so what this scientist lord kelvin has done he has tried to find out the lowest temperature and what he has found that minus 273 degrees celsius after this no one can able to reach this temperature means below minus 
टू सेवेंटी थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस नो मोर टेम्परेचर इज बींग फाउंड एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज जीरो केलविन वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इट एज एब्सल्यूट जीरो वाई वी कॉल्ड इज एट एब्सल्यूट जीरो बिकॉज एट दिस केस कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द मॉलिकल्स बिकम्स जीरो दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज एब्सल्यूट जीरो एंड इन अ केस ऑफ केलविन स्केल द टेम्परेचर इज बिटवीन टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी थ्री केलविन टू थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी थ्री केलविन तो दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट थर्मामेट्रिक स्केल नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लिनिकल थर्मामीटर हेयर वी हैव स्टडी दिस वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द लेबोरेटरिकल थर्मामीटर एंड नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लिनिकल थर्मामीटर so here in a book this diagram is given about the clinical thermometer so as you can see this diagram from the book about the clinical thermometer you can also very well now you are at your home you can take out your thermometer at your home which is called as clinical therm thermometer we use that thermometer to measure our body temperature and we use laboratorical thermometer in laboratorical use means in a case of our physics lab or chemistry lab the thermometer which we use we call it as laboratorical thermometer and at home the thermometer which we use we call it as clinical thermometer what is the difference between that two thermometer is that at this portion here there is one bend which we called it as kink see here the name is given this is a kink here we have a small bend so why this bend is given so this bend is given so that when the mercury is going to rise after heating then what happen that suddenly it comes down also but because of this bend it will take more time to come to the bulb and this is the help of this kink and this differentiate between clinical thermometer and laboratorical thermometer so this is about this third unit and about the description of clinical thermometer so we have studied about two different kinds of thermometer one is laboratorical thermometer and from the book we have studied about the clinical thermometer next we are going to study about different conventions for writing units and their symbols so first is given here the symbols for the unit of quantities are written in a small letter means so for example as second what we write we write with a small letter not with capital letter next the symbol of the unit named after the scientist are written with capital letter for example just now we have said kelvin no so kelvin will be written with capital letter then third is symbol for the unit are not followed by full stop means that after writing any unit we do not give any full stop like this example is given as meter we do not give any full stop after this unit then the fourth point is the symbol of a unit is never written in plural form means that we are not going to add like boys girls any s is not being added then fifth point is in a case you have to write a full form of unit the name is written in a small letter even if it is name of scientist so when we are going to write the unit in full form so we are going to write with a small letter so here you have an example so this kelvin is written with a small letter fully and this is the wrong way to write so this is the topic about the convention for writing unit and their symbol next we are going to see about the measurement of area so this is the topic here measurement of area so this is measurement of area so what is area first as you all know that amount of surface occupied by an object is called as area and unit of area is meter square then we have to define what is 1 meter square so 1 meter square is defined as a square whose each side is 1 meter then we called it that area as 1 meter square then we are going to study about the multiples 
of 1 meter square so here the multiple of 1 meter square is suppose hectare and kilometer so 1 hectare is equal to 1 to the power 4 zeros that much of meter square and 1 kilometer here we have 6 zeros after 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that much of so or we can say 10 to power 6 meter square then how do we measure any regular surface area of any regular surface so here as you know this formula you might have studied in mathematics also the area of a square is given with length into length l square area of rectangle is given with length into breadth area of triangle is given with half height into base so this is the height so this is the height of triangle and this is the base of triangle then for the circle area is found out with the help of pi which is equal to this pi is equal to 22 by 7 and r is radius and we are going to find out the square of it so pi r square is the area of circle so with this today we have completed the second chapter physical quantities and measurement for class 6 physics for san thomas school ranchi thank you